Hello, uh, good evening. Hello, Ana Yasmin. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? Hello, hello. Good evening. Welcome to the class. How are you? Very good, and you? Ah, excellent. Thanks for asking me. How was your day today? What? How was your day today? Um, working today. Wow. Okay, it was a hard working day. I was I was working today. Okay, very good. It's nice, Anna. And are you ready for <laughs> Hello Raul, hello Marlon, welcome to the class. Are you ready for tomorrow, guys? To celebrate with your mother? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class, Marlon. Hello, Gabriel. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening, coach. How are you tonight? I'm very tired, coach. Oh, really? I'm sorry to hear that. Just in, yes. let's see, 58 minutes, you are going to go and rest a lot. Gabriel, are you going to have a day off tomorrow? No, I I will uh, well, I will work. Oh, you will work. Oh, okay, that's yes. great. I'm sorry for you. So <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the class, are you ready with your gifts for your mom tomorrow? Ya le compraron la sartén, la licuadora, su mamá para mañana. <laughs> Are you ready to celebrate Mother's Day? Not teacher. Not. Uh, I was by rose. Oh, I bought. I bought some roses to my mom. Excellent. Very good. Which color does she like? Red. Red color? color red. She likes color red. Is favorite she? Um, his favorite, her he, favorite, her, her favorite, the color red. Oh, her my favorite mom. color is color red. Ah, okay, then you say my mom's favorite color is red. My, my mom is color favorite red. Oh, uh, my my mom favorite color is red. My, my mom. Favorite color is red. Excellent now. That is a good sentence now. So welcome everybody to the class. It's nice to see you again tonight. I'm so happy that you are here with me in this class. So let me ask you about the platform. Como van con la plataforma? Have you already finished the section number five? Yes, teacher. I finished the uh, section five. Okay, that's excellent. Thank you, Marlon. I will uh, say in the final exam. You have already taken the final exam. That's great. Congratulations. By the way, what was your score? What was your score? ¿Cuánto sacó, Marlon? I, I, I started the, the final test. Ah, you have already started it. Ah, okay. Yes, yes, it, it's not finished. You haven't finished yet, but you are doing good. I'm pretty sure of yes, that. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, excellent, Marlon. Anybody has finished the section number five? Hello, Marvin. Welcome to the class. So don't forget, please, that at the end of this week, you must have finished, right, the platform. Ya no tenemos más tiempo. ¿verdad? Al final de esta semana, usted debe de haber terminado la sección número cinco y haber realizado el examen final. Remember that you can't do the exercise uh, all the time that you need, right? Puede hacerlo las veces que necesite hasta que tenga un 10 ¿verdad? en la plataforma. O at least the 80%. O al menos el 80%. Pero no queremos ese 80%. ¿no? 
nosotros vamos por el 100%. Ok, Marvin, Ana, Raúl, Gabriel y Marlon. 100%, right? 100%. Okay, teacher. Thank We are going to complete that platform during this week. So don't forget about that. That is important. And let's start with the class. Yesterday we were talking about the simple past tense with was and where, which is the simple past of the verb to be. And we saw a lot of exercise and we practice some conversation. And tonight we are going to study questions. It was and where question and also with the auxiliary did. Do you remember the other verbs? Was and where is just good to be. And then we studied uh, before the verb to be we studied the simple past of the regular and irregular verbs. And I remember that we studied how to make question using the other, the other verbs, I'm sorry. So tonight we're going to continue practicing questions. That is important. So let's go with tonight's topic. Any question before to start the class? No questions, no comments. No, no, okay, no. that's great. Then no let's question. start. Today's topic is WH work with did, was, and where. I am sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Yes, can teacher. Yes, okay, that's excellent. Thank you. So this is your class number 14. We are almost to finish, right? Three classes more and we are done. Today, Thursday, and Friday. We are going to finish on Friday this model, which is beginner number three. So let's start Excellent. the lesson of the year. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer WH question we did, was, and where. That is the goal for tonight, guys, that you learn how to ask and answer WH question. So let's go with a review of the last class. Let me see. The information question on WH word. Do you remember the WH word? Which are they? ¿A qué le llamamos WH word? Where, when, how, what? Excellent, thank you. So we call WH word or information question, right? A las palabras que nos ayudan a pedir información, como dónde, cuándo, cómo, por qué. So that is in Spanish. Now you say in English what, when, where, why, who, quién, right? Quién is the last one, who. So those are WH work. How, how do we make questions using this WH word? Well, they are at the beginning of the question. They are always at the beginning of a question. Then we need was or where, subject, complement, and finally the question mark to make a question. Look at this example. Um, yes, no question. The first one is an example of yes, no question. Where you were in the US? Where you were in the US? Then you say, yes, I was. So you say, no, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. So, were you born in the U.S.? Then you have two options to answer. You say, yes, I was. Si, sí, ahí nací yo. Or, no, I wasn't. Yo no nací ahí. Now, let's go to the other side when we have the information question. Where were you born? Aquí ya no puedo decir, yes, I was. Or, no, I wasn't. I need to give information. So, I was born in Korea. In your case, I was born in El Salvador. Was your brother born in 1984? Was your brother born in 1984? Yes, he was, or no, he wasn't. Okay, you say yes or no. Now, for the question, when was he born? You have to get the information and say he was born in 1985. Were your parents born in Incheon? Yes, they were or no, they weren't. What city were they born in? They were born in Seoul. So what city were they born in? That is an information question. So we have two types of questions. Yes, no question. And also, 
information question or WH word question. Now let's go with this. Where were you born? Ana Yasmin, where were you born? I was born in Sonsonate. Okay, Manuel, where were you born? I was born in La Paz. Excellent, Marlon, where were you born? I was born in Santana. Okay, excellent. En sala estuvimos estudiando el día de ayer. Where were you born? Now let's see with when. When was, uh, when were you born? When. Now I need another type of information. Ahora ya sé dónde usted vive. Porque usted respondió, where were you born? ¿Dónde nació? Ahora I want to know when. ¿Cuándo nació usted? When were you born? When were you born? I was, I was born in 1971. 1971. Okay, excellent. Anybody, when were you born? I was born in 1987. 1987. Very good. And let's see. Uh, Ana Lucia, when, when were you born? I was born in 1882. Okay, thank you so much for your answer. Then let's see. Any volunteer here, Francisca Idalia, when were you born? Um, Bueno, este sería when when for when was he born? Me preguntó, ¿verdad? No, when when were you born? You when were you born? Okay. Then you uh, say I was born in. I I was born. Es cuando, ¿verdad? Yes. Cuando nací, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I was born. Um, I was born in nineteen eighteen. Um, 1981. Excellent. Thank you for your answer. So okay. when, where and when. When is asking for a place and when is asking for a date. Now, what city were they born in? Now and more specifically, right? Uh, what city were it? What city were you born? In que ciudad nació? Before you say, I was born in La Paz. I was born in San Salvador. But now, in which city? What city of these places? What city were you born? I was born in Santana City. Ah, okay, excellent. I was born in Santana City. Thank you. What city were you born in? Any other volunteer to answer? Just when? Uh, I was. Tell, tell me, tell me the answer. Me Thank you, Ana Yasmin. I was born in Sonsonate City. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Then we are going to be practicing this, right, in this class. So remember this. We need the WH word at the beginning of the question, was or where, the subject, the complement, and the question mark. And then we have an information question. So let me see this. Let's practice in this small conversation. Conversation number one, it says, where were you born? I was born in China. Where did you grow up? Oh, look at this other question. Oh, where did you grow up? Donde creciste? I grew up in Beijing. How was your first day at the school? Do you remember this day? Do you still remember how was your first day at the school? 
In the example, it says, it wasn't good. I was nervous. Then I have the other equation. Why were you nervous? You say, why were you nervous? Because there were many children. How was your first friend at the school? And you say, oh, my best, my first friend was William. Oh, his name was William. What was he like? He was so funny and friendly. What was he like? Como era él? So he was so funny and friendly. So do you remember who was your first friend at the school? Do you remember these things? How was your first day at the school? ¿Se acuerdan de su primer día en la escuela? I don't remember, teacher. <laughs> you see, I say, you say, I don't remember that. Uh, okay, no les contaron. Uh, no les contaron si lloraron o no. <laughs> Seguramente sí. <laughs> yes. Sí, probably, yes. My father. <laughs> And who was your first friend? Do you remember your first friend at the school? Um, his name was Gloria. Oh, in that case, her name, because it's she, her name okay. is... Her okay. name was Gloria. Her name was Gloria. Is she still your friend? ¿Todavía es su amiga? Ya no. No mucho. <laughs> okay, no, not really, right? So, nice. And what was she like? ¿Cómo era ella? So she was. She was so funny and friendly. Oh, really? That is pretty cool. Now let's practice this question and answer. Where were you born? Where did you grow up? They are asking for a place. Then how was your first day? It means como. Then we have why is asking for a reason. Why were you nervous? And who is asking for a person? Quien. And finally, we have what, qué o cual. En esa expresión significa cómo era eh, su personalidad. What was he like means cómo era su personalidad. So let's start. Any volunteer to practice in this question and answers? Who wants to participate? Thank you, sir. Oh, thank you thank so you much. Sir. I have Marlon and... Me too, sir. Oh, thank you, Raúl. So, Marlon, can you ask the question and Raúl the answers, please? Let's practice. Okay, start. Where were you born? I was born in Where did you grow up? I grew up in the gym. How was your first day at the school? I wasn't good, I was ner nervous. Why were you nervous? Because there were many children. Who was your first friend at the school? His name was William. What was he like? He was so funny. Thanks, friendly. Awesome. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Very good job. So, grew up in the bird. I grew up in Beijing. And we don't say China. We say China in English. I was born in China. I was China. born in China. The rest is what's excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's continue here with the next team. So, I have an exercise for you. Let's see. Any volunteer? Surprise question for you. Anybody? Okay. Okay, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay, excellent. So let's see the first question. What was your favorite? Let's see, I can read. Oh, what was your favorite game when you were a kid? Um, my favorite game is sometime many years ago. I played Chibola. Okay, marbles, marbles, really. Then they say my favorite game was marbles. 
Can you say the sentence, please? My favorite game was My favorite marbles. game was Garbles? Marbles. 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 Uh, thank you, teacher. I okay, say. excellent answer. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yes, right. It was pretty nice to play with marbles. Jugaban chibola. ¿Quién más jugaba chibola? Yo. Sí, yo. Y trompo. Y trompo también. Okay. Capirucho. Spinning. Ah, capirucho también. Okay, very good. Uh, yes. Do you like to play hide and seek? Hide and seek. Escondelero. Ah, yes, Mica. Ah, okay. Mica. Oh, Mika, that is tap game. Tap game. Police, police and, and ladrón. How to say ladrón? Oh, police and thief. Okay, That's let me see. Okay, ah. very good. Uh, let me see what about tic tac toe. Do you like to play tic tac toe? Um, X0. No, yes, yes. yes. Ah, okay. What about crossword? Do you like to solve crossword? You see grammas? Yes, yes. Yes. And word search. Word search. Sí. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, okay, nice. Very good. Then let me see which other one. What about jump rope? Jump rope. Saltar la puerta de su estado. No, really. No le gustaba saltar la cuerda. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Y el otro se llamaba Ule, I guess. Ule. 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 Ah, okay. Ule. Very good. Jacks. Los Jacks. Ah, no, Jacks, too. Jacks. ¿Hasta, no, qué, ¿Hasta qué nivel llegaba en el arranca de Ule? cebolla también? Ah, ok, arranca cebolla. ¿no? El no, revirón, ¿qué le dice? <risa> el hule en revirón, que le dicen cosas así. Ah, hasta ese, ese es saltando, ¿verdad? dando saltitos. Sí, y... haciendo brinquitos. Ah, y aquí, okay, en excelente. el cuello, la, en el, como en el cuello, el hule. <risa> ah, oh my God. Ok. Ya veo que se divirtieron de pequeños. Ok, let's go with the next question. Yeah. Let's go with the next question. Any volunteer who wants, who wants to practice? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. Let's see what is your question. Oh, what was your favorite subject at the school? Uy, my favorite subject was mathematics. Okay, excellent. Very good answer. Let's go with the next one. Any volunteer for the next question? Me, coach. Okay, excellent. Who was your favorite teacher at the school? Um, my favorite teacher was um, her, her name is uh, Guadalupe. Okay, my favorite teacher was Guadalupe. What was the subject? Uh, my favorite subject uh, is a social. What's social a social? studies. Okay, nice. Did Guadalupe teach uh, social studies? Uh, yes. Okay, yes, she did. Excellent. Yes, so, right. social studies. Nice. Teacher Guadalupe was your favorite teacher at the school. Now, let's go with the next question. Anybody want to answer it? Were you a good student at the school? More or less teacher. Ah, okay, so, 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 más so. o menos. Then, let's go with the next one. Anyone want to for the next question? Me, teacher. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Who was your favorite singer when you were a teenager? Who was your favorite singer when you were a teenager? Is asking for a person. Who was your favorite singer? Teenager? My, my favorite singer? Is Jesús Adrián Romero. Ah, okay, excellent. So it's a Christian music, a Christian musician. Yes, but when you were a teenager, when you were an adolescent, in past, then you say, My favorite singer was. Mm, my favorite singer 
is um, was como se llama well, se me ha olvidado was el nombre Jesús Adrián Romero <laughs> ah, okay was Jesús Adrián Romero si le gustaba desde que estaba teacher uh, where yes. is the meaning uh, teenager 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 yeah. adolescente teenager Okay. Teenager. 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 Uh, then it was Jesus. Uh, he was Jesus Adrian Romero, right? Yes. Okay. Let's see, yes. Manuel. Who was your favorite singer when you were a teenager? Uh, my favorite singer. Um, Jesús Adrián Romero. Was Jesús Adrián Romero. Excellent. And Carmen Elena, who was your favorite singer when you were a teenager? Uy. Uh, my favorite singer was Britney Spears. <laughs> ah, okay, excellent. Britney Spears. She was a good singer. Now she isn't, but she was. The next question, what was your um, favorite cartoon? Look at this. Anybody want to answer this? What was your favorite cartoon? My favorite. My favorite. Let's listen. Ladies first. Tom, let's here, listen. Tom and Jerry. <laughs> Tom and Jerry, okay. Tom and Jerry too. Ana Lucía, what was your favorite cartoon? Uh, my, my favorite cartoon was Jen and the Holograms. Oh, I don't remember that. Oh, Jimmy the Holograms. <laughs> oh, my favorite <laughs> cartoon was... Look at the teacher. <laughs> okay, can you please repeat what was your favorite cartoon? Jose, uh, let's go with Francisca Idalia. Francisca, what was your favorite cartoon? My favorite uh, cartoon is Heidi. <laughs> uh, what's Heidi? Heidi, okay. No era tan inocente la Heidi. Eh, sure. Candy, candy. <laughs> candy, candy. Uh, candy, candy. Did you eh. watch Sailor Moon? Yes, Sailor Moon. Ah, okay. And the boys, los caballeros del zodiaco, do you remember that? Yes, caballeros del zodiaco. Dragon Ball. Teacher, los pica piedras. Dragon Ball. The Flintstones. Uh -huh. Yes. Halcones galácticos, teacher. Oh, Silver yeah. Hawks. Silver Hawks. Thundercats. 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 Transformer. Transformer. Messenger Z. Messenger Z. Yes. Mm, okay. Ulises. Messenger Z. Ulises. Ah, ok. De los últimos dos solo he escuchado la más yerceta en Ulises. I didn't watch that cartoon. The press, yes. Ah, oh, and the hologram. I didn't know about that. Gem oh, and the holograms. I'm going to look for that. Okay. Pantera Rosa, teacher. The Pink Panther, yes. That was so funny. That was so funny. Pedro Piedra. The Flintstone, yes. Vilma. <laughs> so let's continue with the next question. Were you stressful yesterday? Carlos David, were you stressful yesterday? Then this is a yes no question. You say yes I was, no I wasn't. Were you stressful yesterday? Yesterday was Monday. Were you stressful? Estuvo estresado el día de ayer. Let me see then. Raúl Edgardo, were you stressful yesterday? No. No, I wasn't. No, I wasn't. Okay, excellent. Any volunteer to answer the next question? Who wants? Who wants to try in the next? Who wants to try in the next question? If not, I'm going to choose somebody. Okay, let's choose Manuel. Manuel, the next question is for you. Were you at home yesterday? I 
again, it is a yes, no question. Were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Excellent answer. You say yes, I was or no, I wasn't. Gabriel, were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Uh, Ana Lucia, were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Marlon, were you at home yesterday? Yes, I was. Excellent. Let's choose Angel for the next question. And the next one is, what was your favorite movie when you were a kid, Angel? What was your favorite movie when you were a kid? Uh, uh, my favorite movie is uh, the uh, the great um, world China. Well. Okay, excellent. But it isn't past. Was my favorite movie was. Let's see my here. favorite movie was and Karate Kid. Okay, excellent answer. Thank you. Any other volunteer to answer this question? What was your favorite movie when you were a kid? <laughs> what was your favorite movie? You didn't have a favorite movie? Then let's go with the next question. Who was your favorite actor or actress? Let me say my favorite actor was, or my favorite actress was. I need to answer. My, my favorite um, actor was Robert Pattinson. Excellent. Anybody? My favorite actor is Jean-Claude Van Damme. Okay, Jean-Claude Van Damme. Excellent. But it's in past, remember, it's in past. My favorite actor was Jean-Claude Van Damme. Thank you for your answer. And the last one, no, it's not the last one. It's almost the last one. Oh, when were you born? Ya estuvimos viendo eso. When were you born? And let's see the last one. Where were you born? Uh, we have already discussed this question. Thank you so much for your help in this activity. Thank you for your answer. And let's continue with this question. Then we have where were you born? When were you born? How was your first day at the school? How was your first friend at the school? What was he or she like? How was your weekend? How much was the last thing you bought? And then I have the answer here. The first one is asking for a place. The second one is asking for a year. The third one is asking for an adjective. How was your first day at the school? Un adjetivo para describir cómo fue su primer día en la escuela. He or she was. The next question is asking for a person. Who was your first friend at the school? What was he or she like? This is an expression, right? Como era su personalidad? How was your weekend? It means como. And how much? There is another W for equation, which means cuánto. How much? How much was the last thing you bought? Then I was born in El Salvador. I need a place there. The second one, when were you born? I was born in. Then I need a year, right? 1989. How was your first day at the school? And I need an adjective. It was funny. He or she was Carlos. He's asking for a play, for a person. Who? What was his life? They need an adjective to complete this. He was friendly. My weekend was. How was your weekend? My weekend was. I need an adjective to answer this. My weekend was very good. And how much? Then money. How much was the last thing you bought? ¿Cuánto le costó lo último que So it was $9.99.
Okay, now it's your turn to answer this question. I have a turn to answer these questions. Any volunteer? Hey, teacher. Oh, thank you so much. Question number one. Where were you born? I was born in, San, in El Salvador. When were you born? I was born in 1971. How was your first day at school? I was a, uh, how to say, llorar, llorar, crying day. And then you say, it was bad. It's too mad. I cry a lot. It was it bad. Was I cry a lot. Bad. Yes. Uh, who was your first friend at the school? Uh, she, she was the Janina. What was she like? She was friendly. How was your weekend? Very tight, very hard because I I, I was at a, a installation electrician. Oh, an electric installation, really? That is great. And finally, how much was the last thing you bought? It was 80. Thousand dollars. Eighty thousand dollars, really? Was it a television? Yes, because I, 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 I was, I, I was by my car. Oh, I bought, I bought my car. I bought my car. Yes, teacher. Okay, congratulations. Now you have a car. Okay, you say eight thousand. Okay, yes, excellent teacher. answer, excellent answer. Thank you so much. That was an excellent job. Okay, now don't forget about this. Where, when, how, who, what? Those are WH question words. Let's continue okay. here. What did she do this morning? Look at this picture. We are going to get sentences. Look at this picture. What is she? What is she? ¿Dónde está ella? Look at the picture and tell me. In the park. Oh, probably she is in the park. Now, how is she? ¿Cómo está ella? How is she? Sleeping. Mm. Oh, cansada. Sleeping or tired. So, tired. what did she do this morning is the question. Look at this. What did she do this morning? ¿Qué cree que hizo esta mañana para terminar así de cansada? She, she was from. She was from. Ah, oh, probably she ran. She did exercise. Let's see the option here. I have a use an option. She did exercise for two hours. ¿Quedan así después de dos horas de ejercicio? Yes, right. Peor. Yes. <laughs> Yes, yes she, she ran 10 kilometers. She ran, as you said, ella corrió. She ran 10 kilometers. She did aerobics. That is another option. She did aerobics. And finally, she played soccer. Okay, let's go with the next picture here. So any volunteer to practice reading these sentences? What did she do this morning? Thank you, Francisco Italia. Can you please, Francisca? What did you do this morning? She did? She, uh, she did exercise, ex, exercise. Exercise? Exercise for two hours. She ran uh, 10 kilometers. She did aerobics. She played soccer. Soccer. Thank you so much. Now let's take a look at the following picture. What did he do last night? What did he do last night? She was study. Ah, okay. She studied. He or she? I guess it's a boy. He studied. Uh, uh, he, he Thank studied. you. He studied. 
Okay, excellent. Very good. Let's see the examples. He studied the whole night. Very good job. Do you guess? He studied the whole night. Let's see the next one. He read two books last night. He read two books last night. He did homework last night. Finally, he wrote a report. So, he studied the whole night. ¿Les pasó alguna vez? ¿Les tocó estudiar toda la noche? Ooh, yes, teacher. Yes, yes muchas yes, veces. Teacher. Yes. <laughs> he read two books last night. ¿Se leyeron dos libros en una noche? No, teacher. No, not really. Uh, no, he did really. homework last night. It wasn't. Night. Uh, he wrote a report. Any volunteer to practice reading these four sentences in simple past tense? Thank you, Manuel. Can you please? Yes. Me Yes. Thank she you. she is studying the whole night. He read two books late night. He did homework last night. He worked a report. Thank you so much. He studied, he read, he did homework, and he read a report. Excellent. Now let's see a look of the scared. What did they do last night? What did they do last night? They were a party. They went, they went to a party. They went. They went to a party. Any other? Look at the following option. They went to a party last night. Very good, Carmen. That is the sentence. They went to a party last night. They danced a lot. They ate delicious food. They drank wine and champagne. They were really happy. They enjoyed the night. They toasted with their friends. So what did they do last night? Look at this information question. Podemos dar mucha información. ¿Qué hicieron ellas anoche? They went to a party. They danced. They ate delicious food. They drank. They were really happy. They enjoyed the night. They toasted with their friends. Ellos brindaron con sus amigos. Let's see. Expression we use in simple past. These are useful expressions that we use in the simple past. Last week, last month, last weekend, last Sunday, and last night. What is the meaning of last week? What's the meaning of last week? Semana pasada? Yes, la semana pasada. Then the next one, last month, el mes pasado. Last weekend, el fin de semana pasado. Last Sunday. And you el, see, domingo I, pasado. el domingo pasado. En las nights. El domingo pasado. La noche las, anterior, la noche pasada. La noche pasada. Ok. Mm, a veces solo decimos anoche. Anoche. La anoche. noche pasada. En mm, Spanish, we don't say that. No decimos la noche pasada, la noche anterior, probably. en algunos casos, yes, pero es más común decir solo anoche. anoche. Ayer, es... la noche, anoche. Last night, very good. Then also we can use yesterday. If we want to be more specific, we use yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night. The day before yesterday. Eso es antier en español. The day before yesterday. So, yesterday is ayer, pero es bien general. Si quieres ser más específico, agrega la hora. Yesterday morning, yesterday evening, yesterday afternoon, yesterday night. Then also we use ago with expression of time. Ten minutes ago, an hour ago, three days ago, a week ago, a month ago, a year ago. We use this to express simple past. Then you say, I ate. 10 minutes ago. I had dinner an hour ago. I take a shower three days ago. Then un periodo de tiempo. Tomé un baño hace tres días. Ya casi me toca. Then you say, 
I have an hour ago. Se me hace una hora. And also we can use the following expression in 1980, in March, or on Monday. We use this expression in simple past tense. Let's see, let's practice in this. Where did you go yesterday? And I have this, I went to the hospital. When did you get married? When did you get married? Never. Never? <laughs> Say never. I got married five years ago. Then let's see, when was your graduation? ¿Se acuerdan? When was your graduation? Do you remember this date? Okay. You say my I graduation. don't remember. Ah, okay. My graduation, was, my graduation was two weeks ago. And when was the soccer match? It was yesterday afternoon. So we use the expression of time to ask questions right? and to answer to any volunteer to practice in this com small conversations. Me teacher. Thank you. I have Carmen in. Any other volunteer? Me teacher. Thank you. Can you please Carmen? You are A, then you are B. Let's start. Yes, teacher. Where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you get married? I got married five years ago. When was your graduation? My graduation was two weeks ago. When was the soccer match? I it we, it was yesterday afternoon. Excellent. Thank you so much. Any two volunteers to practice? Me to share. Thank you, Ana Lucia and Francisca and Daniel. Me teacher. Okay, after Ana Lucia and Francisca, okay? Let's start. Ana Lucia, you are A, Francisca, you are B. Okay, where did you go yesterday? I went to the hospital. When did you get married? I got married five years ago. When was you? When was your graduation? My graduation was two weeks ago. When was the soccer match? It was yesterday afternoon. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Yeah. Now, take a look at this question. Hay dos preguntas que utilizan did y hay dos que no. L Tengo acá preguntas con el verbo to be. When was your graduation? When was the soccer match? And also I have with did, que es con los otros verbos. Utilizamos el auxiliar did para hacer preguntas con los otros verbos que no son el verbo to be. Por ejemplo, get. When did you get married? And where did you go yesterday? So, in this case, we need to be careful, right? Cuando es con el verbo to be y cuando necesito utilizar did. Was and where with did. Eh, sorry, was and where with the verb to be and did with the rest of the verbs. Con los otros verbos. Now, when was the last time you visit a friend? When was the last time you visit a friend? Didn't you say in past, I visited a friend two years ago. Uh, one week ago, last weekend, on Friday, when was the last time you visited a friend, Gabriel? Okay, teacher. Um, I visited uh, a friend um, last weekend. Last weekend, excellent answer, thank you. Took a shower. When was the last time you took a shower? Any volunteer? Then you say, I took a shower this morning. I took a shower one hour ago. Yes, yes. <laughs> say the sentence, I took a shower. Thank you. 
let's see. Cook a cake or a pizza. When was the last time you cook a cake or a pizza? When was the last time you cook a cake or a pizza? Hey, you say I didn't I cook. <laughs> I not I... cook. I not cook. Uh, I didn't cook a cake or a pizza. A cake, teacher. Okay, okay. Now tell me the expression of the time. When was the last time you cook a cake or a pizza? And you say I cook a cake. I, I cook a cake. And 10 minutes ago. 10 minutes ago. Okay, that is excellent. I cook a cake 10 minutes ago. Let's see number four. When was the last time you drank you drank a coffee? Cuando fue la última vez que tomó café? Today, teacher. Oh, say the sentence. I drank coffee. I drank today. coffee. I drank coffee. I drank coffee evening. I drank coffee today. Okay, today evening. Very good. Uh, a spaghetti. When was the last time you ate spaghetti? I ate, I ate spaghetti. spaghetti dinner. Ah, I, like. ate, I ate spaghetti for dinner and I didn't like it. No le I don't like, I don't like. Oh, you didn't like spaghetti, really? Mm. Well. Ya me imagino desde cuando no le gusta. Desde, desde ciertos paquetes, pero no vamos a hablar de esto. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, clean your bedroom. When was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? Mm. When was the last time you cleaned your bedroom? Mm. I cleaned your, my bedroom in the morning. Okay, excellent. I cleaned my bedroom this morning. Very good answer. I cleaned my bedroom this morning. I, this I never cleaned my bedroom. Really? I never cleaned my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> Last weekend. <laughs> I can imagine, right? How is your bedroom? Oh, probably somebody uh, cleaned your bedroom instead of you. Alguien más lo limpia en vez de él, probably. Watch a movie with your family. When was the last time you watched a movie with your family? Yesterday. I watched a movie with my with my family. Um, um, <laughs> uh, three days ago. Three days ago. Excellent. Uh, anybody? I last watched, night. Last, last night. night. Okay, excellent. I watched a movie with my family last night. Perfect, Ana Lucia. Mm -hmm. Anybody? Oh, hey, when was the last time you held somebody? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que ayudó a alguien? I held somebody this morning. I held somebody yesterday. I held somebody I last somebody week. Now. I held somebody. I held somebody today. Okay. I Any held other? somebody today, teacher. Today too. Any other answer? Yes. Any other answer? I held somebody. Okay, I uh, had a toothache. When was the last time you had a toothache? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que le dolió una muela? That's really hard. I had a toothache last week. Last week, okay. Uh, when was the last time you say I love you to somebody? 
¿Cuándo fue la última vez que le dijo esa frase a alguien? I said I love you. I say I, I love, love you today. today. Today, how can you explain? To your kids, right? To your daughter, to your son, to your mother. Hey, cut your hair. When was the last time you cut your hair? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que se cortó el cabello? And you say, I cut my hair. I cut my hair some two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, very good. And when to dance? When was the last time you went to dance? When was the last time you went to dance? ¿Cuándo fue la última vez que fue a bailar? Y él dice, I went to dance two years ago, three months ago, yesterday. Just one answer and we go to the last activity for tonight. Mm -hmm. When was the last time you went to dance? I went to dance 20 years ago. 20 years Is ago. Ah, okay, thank you. Okay, we're going to do this. Let's go with this. Uh, where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you come? Uh, so they are information questions. This is the last practice for tonight. So let's listen then. Second. Can you listen? Can you listen the audio? Not sure. Not sure. Mm, let me see now. Can you listen? Where did you grow up? I... Oh, oh, yes, teacher. You... Okay, listen to the examples. W question, we did, wasn't, where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Okay, now look at this. These are the structures that we need to make questions, right? Con cualquier verbo que no sea el verbo to be, we are going to use this. Wh work, auxiliary did, subject, the very present, the complement, and the question mark. What did you eat my dinner? Why is the wh work, the auxiliary did, the subject is you, the very present eat, my dinner is the complement, and the question mark. And then we have the answer because it looked delicious and I was hungry. Now let's see when the word to be. W's work, was or where, subject, complement, and the question mark. What was your favorite subject at high school? My favorite, my favorite subject was French. So don't forget about this. Si es cualquier otro verbo que no sea el verbo to be, utilizamos esta estructura. W's work, did. Subject, very present, complement, and the question mark. If we are using the verb to be, then W4 was where subject, complement, and the question mark. Don't forget about this structure. They are going to help you a lot. And just to finish the class tonight, to volunteer to practice in this W question and these answers, please. Can se quiere ya? Any volunteer? Me, teacher. Ah, okay. <laughs> 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 Let's start with Francisca and with Marlon. So, Francisca, read the question and Marlon the answer, please. Okay. Where did you grow? No. Uh, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? 
I came to Los Angeles in 1919. Why did 90. Okay. Why did you become a hair stylist? Because I need the money. How old were you in 1990? How old were you in 1990? 1990. I was 18. What was your major in college? I was drama. How was college? I was drama. Okay. Uh, sorry, I was great. Okay. Hey, excellent job. Thank you. Almost perfect. Yes, in this, let me see. Uh, it. It was drama. It was great. And also, in, the number is 1990. 1990. And this word, major. What was your major in college? Okay. What was your okay. Major? okay. Okay, we're going to finish the class here. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. Uh, congratulations for those who are mothers in this class. Who is mother here in the class? Who's a mother? Ana Lucia. Thank you very much. Ana is me. So <laughs> congratulations, right? And I hope that tomorrow you have a great day with, with your family. I hope that you receive a lot of gifts. Espero que reciba muchos regalos, flowers, cake. Do you like cake? Panes con pollo. Ah, okay, <laughs> <Red chicken. excellent. laughs> Bread stuffed with chicken. Thank you, okay. teacher. So enjoy your day tomorrow. And tomorrow we won't have classes, right? No classes mañana. But we're going to have classes on Thursday. Nos vemos okay. el jueves entonces. Bye bye. Yes. Bye. 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 Bye.